Hey, this is Butch Ross, and I am here with the Robert Stevens uh, printed dulcimer with the high vibe unit. Uh, printed high vibe, what's all that mean? Well, I'll get to that in just a minute. A couple other things I want to show you about this instrument that I find uh, pretty remarkable. Inside of it, there's actually an I beam that goes from this end block to this end block, and then the fretboard on top of it actually sits on top of that. So the fretboard never touches the surface of the instrument. In fact, the only place where the vibrating strings touch the surface is right here at the bridge, which is very much how a guitar or a mandolin or a banjo or any other stringed instrument is, uh, is built. It also has a double bottom on the inside of it that you can't see, and the combination of these two things allow it to have a lot of volume and a lot of tone in a very compact uh, space. It's also the combination of these elements, I think, that make it possible for this instrument to be uh, what I think is the most remarkable part about it. Everything on here that you see that is black, with the exception of the fretboard, of course, which is ebony, but everything that you see that is black was actually printed on a 3D printer, which is a pretty remarkable achievement. The combination of the design elements that make this instrument so unique is the thing that allows it to be 3D printed and still have a very accurate dulcimer sound. So right now, let's compare this instrument to a couple of other standard dulcimers. Uh, I have three different dulcimers here. This is the all wooden version of the um, Robert Stevens. It has the false bottom and the I beam and the whole nine. So I'll play a little bit of that. And then compare that to this. This one's a little brighter. It sounds a little bit more muffled, but that's actually because it's kind of underneath these guys um, and, and all sitting on the stands. And then let's compare it to this older McSpadden that I have. Right, and here it is compared. So again, sounds a little, this one sounds a little bit brighter than the McSpadden, but not really because this McSpadden actually has very old strings on it and it's an old cherry that's, that's aged in and as you can see, uh, is well worn. This instrument also has a single sound hole and kind of early on I mentioned to uh, Robert that the only problem with the sound hole was that if your pick fell in it, it would never come back out again. So what he did was he took the pickup that comes with it and he actually made this sort of manhole cover that covers the sound hole. So the sound hole is here, but this is also the uh, pickup that drives the entire thing. In addition to being 3D printed, it also has the high vibe system. The high vibe system is essentially a uh, an onboard computer that turns your instrument into its own uh, amplifier. It has uh, a number of built-in effects. It has a built-in looper. Uh, it allows your instrument to work as a Bluetooth speaker, and you can even import uh, tracks that will play through the instrument that you can play along with. If any of you have done uh, the Steve Yulberg and um, Aaron May thing where, they, where you play along with the backing tracks, you could actually put the backing tracks into this instrument and then uh, strum along with that. In the next video, I'm going to run through the different effects that are actually built into the high vibe unit.